What up? Today, uh, we are gonna cover in depth all the things that I've been eating, cooking, all of that. How y'all doing? I actually had a sticking point. I had my first sticking point, which I was pretty much expecting. I got stuck around 187. I, I hit a wall. So I'm officially carb cycling. I'll be giving myself one high carb day, three no carb days, three low carb days. So no, low, and high. And I've actually shortened my window from eight hours of eating to about six and a half to six hours of eating just to help speed up the process and add a little bit of like a shock to my body. It's 1.10 p.m. You're gonna follow me and uh, we're gonna go into my kitchen. I'm gonna make some protein pancakes. I'm gonna show y'all how I get to my numbers with ease. So I'll show you how I do it. Start with me, start with me. You do it different. Now, we got two eggs here, three veggie sausages, and three strips of, two strips of veggie bacon. And I forgot one very important ingredient. Oh my goodness. Banana. My favorite topping for pancakes. And that is because it adds to the sweetness without having to use refined sugar. And I will be using Walden Farms zero calorie maple syrup and of course one scoop of BCAAs ah, tastes like candy I like to put a little bit of lemon juice in there too for the taste all right bon appetit all right guys I'm giving you my top five tips to hitting your macros tip number one add protein to all your favorite meals you gotta try to be creative in your food selections. If you like eating pancakes like I do, start putting protein in them. I suggest things like protein pancakes, chickpea pasta. If you're going out, uh, maybe add some extra protein to your plate, um, an extra, extra serving of steak, fish, or chicken. However you wanna do it, just make sure you're getting enough protein in your meals. You should try eating carbs that are high in protein. Beans, chickpeas, Lentils, split peas, quinoa, fats that have a lot of protein in them. So obviously fish, salmon, salmon is very high in fats and protein. Things like nuts, steak, milk, cheese, yogurt, you know, these things have quite a bit of protein in them and they will help you get to your protein numbers a lot faster. Tip number two, be mindful of your oils and fats. Many of you only track what you cook and you disregard what you're cooking with, meaning olive oil and butter. Those things will shoot your calories up real fast. Keep in mind, fats have more than twice the amount of calories per gram than proteins and carbs. Proteins and carbs have four calories per gram. Fats have nine. So if you're putting, if you're cooking with a lot of oil, and I know a lot of you are, keep in mind that's, that's shooting your numbers up. And if you're not tracking that, you could be calculating or tracking. Your tracking could be way, way off. So keep that in mind. Also, fats keep you fuller longer. They keep you more satiated. So you may not want to eat as much if you start your day with fats. So put down that avocado toast and chill out with all that cream cheese and uh, maybe save that for a little bit later in the day. Which brings me to tip number three. Prioritize your meals. So I usually break my fast with a protein shake. Um, about 50 grams, anywhere between 35 to 50 grams, maybe even sometimes 60 grams of protein um, in a shake, right? Um, usually it's because I work out early in the morning. So I generally like to have my protein early, pretty much throughout the rest of the day. 
My meals consist of protein and carbs. And then later in the evening, I get protein and fats. Um, the reason being is because if I'm fasting for anywhere between 16 to 19 to 20 hours, I'm going to want to try to stay as satiated as possible. So as I said before, fats keep you satiated. They keep you fuller longer. So I'll save those towards the end of the day. Tip number four, drink more water. Just drink more water. I guarantee you're not getting enough water. I drink about two gallons of water every single day. Water shuttles the nutrients throughout the rest of your body and uh, carries the waste out of your body. And finally, tip number five, buy a protein supplement. Guys, if you still have a problem with supplements, consider the alternative. Look at the, look at the size of your palm right now. That's about 20 grams of chicken breast. If you're a 200 pound male, you need to be eating about 200 pounds, 200, well, 200 grams of protein every single day. So if you don't have a protein supplement, you're going to have to get 10 palm sized chicken breasts in you every single day. That's a whole lot of breasts. I don't know if you ever tried to eat chicken breasts. That shit is dry. That shit is boring. And it's, it's, it's just tough to get down. So do yourself a favor Get over the little mental block you have and get yourself a protein supplement and make your life easier. All right. That's my top five tips on how to hit your macros. Guys, if you have any questions, please call me, text me, DM me, email me. Um, uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to hit get some notifications on when, when the next video is coming out. I appreciate all of you. I hope you're all staying safe. Um, take care. Peace.